sesh on supply chains. We're going to look at what the definition is, an example of supply chain, and how you can choose your suppliers. So the definition of a supply chain is the sequence of processes required for the production and distribution of a good or service to the end customer, to the final customer. An example of the sequence that's needed in a supply chain. So to make chocolate, you need to have a farm with a cocoa plant. That could be in Mexico, for example. And then you need to take all the cocoa to the factory to make chocolate. That could also be in Mexico. Now the factory to make chocolate, after you made the chocolate, you need to put it into wrappers, but maybe it's distributed to the USA, for example, where it is wrapped at the factory. And then from that factory, it is sent across to the UK, to a wholesaler, and then it reaches the final customer at the retail outlet. Maybe it's your local newsagent, for example, being a retail outlet. And that could also be in the UK. So to get from A to B, the sequence of processes that are required, this is the supply chain. Perhaps a link to globalisation and perhaps a cheeky 12 marker could be out here is that because of globalisation, that's led to supply chains, A to B, becoming more efficient. And if supply chains become more efficient, then that movement from A to B, from the start to the end of the supply chain, becomes quicker. And if it becomes quicker, it becomes cheaper. And if it becomes cheaper, then customers will get lower prices. And if customers get lower prices, brilliant, maybe even more sales will come off of that. So how do you choose your suppliers? Well, it's going to be one of these four things. So it's the price the supplier charges, the quality that the supplier will give you, and the predictability and speed that they, the suppliers, can give what you need to you, the components or raw materials that you will get from the suppliers, you being a business. So let's start with the first one. The price that the suppliers charge. Well, if the suppliers charge a low price, then that's going to mean less total costs for you, for the business. And that's going to mean higher profits, theoretically. However, in red, if you decide to choose a supplier on basically just because it supplies to you at a low price, maybe there's a trade-off with quality. Maybe the quality is lower because it's cheaper. Straightforward. On the other side, you might choose your supplier because they just do high quality stuff. They do some really good quality uh, components or raw materials. Higher quality might mean for you that you're going to have higher sales. But on the other side, if you're paying for that higher quality of raw material or component, it's probably going to mean higher costs. It's just the other way around of this. But it's something you need to think about. To do analysis, you need to think of why it's good, why you chose a supplier, and why potentially it could have a trade-off. There could be a problem to it. So another reason why you might choose a supplier is the speed that the supplier can deliver to you. So if there's an increased delivery speed in the supplier, basically the supplier can get what you need that quickly. Well, that could be great for you because it's gonna improve the efficiency that you produce your good or service at. And if it increases the efficiency of that, it's likely to lead to your total cost of production is going to be less because you just make things quicker, there's no waiting around, and maybe in that waiting around, you're having to pay for labor, you're just getting done for things done super quick, things, as in your raw materials, your components, they're turning up at exactly the time you need them. That's brilliant. That means your labor's always being utilized. They're always working. And it's going to mean that your costs are as low as they possibly can be. And if your costs are lower, then your profits are higher. However, if you're getting this speedy delivery from your suppliers, maybe you're going to have to pay more for it. So there's a higher cost from the supplier. And the final one is predictability. The key is here, if you choose your supplier, you want a supplier with a good reputation. You want them to be delivering the raw materials or components that you've ordered. Because if they're not, that could be a nightmare situation for you. Because if you don't have the goods, then you're going to have a problem because you won't have a product to sell. So you need a product to sell. And in order to need a product to sell, you need those raw materials or those component parts. Because if not, it's going to destroy your reputation. So if you're a business and you have nothing to sell, that's going to be bad for your reputation. 
and it's going to put customers off of buying things from you. And it might not be initially your fault, it's because you chose your supplier incorrectly and the supplier you chose was just not very reliable, not very predictable. Hope that helps you with supply chains. Good luck.